Namaste to all my viewers. This is Jedediah Amun. I want to touch on the importance of melanin in the human skin. So, me, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys grew up thinking or hearing that being black is bad, being too black is bad, being light skinned or being white is more, you know what I'm saying? Powerful or more attractive because that's obviously what we see on our commercials, on our TV, everywhere we go, on posters, you know what I'm saying? We see these Caucasian images, we see these more lighter images being more successful in life and most likely in comedy, people talk down on, oh, you're black, blah, blah, blah ASS, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's straight buffoonery, that's foolishness. And, and if, you're, if, you're, if you have knowledge of self, scientifically, you would know that the more melanin in a human body is the better, the more in tune you are with nature. Our sun is the primary life giver on this planet. And our melanin, through a process called ultra fast uh, eternal com conversion, it allows our, our skin, our melanin, to absorb that sunlight, those harmful UV rays that can be harmful for some people, and turn it into harmless heat in the human body. You know what I'm saying? So that basically, melanin gives us a, the ability to live our everyday life with the sun or with nature because sun is the part of nature and it's a primary life giver to this planet. Our sun gives us so much nutrients and our melanin, our melanin allows us to adapt with this, this powerful force, the sun, and adapt us to live in, in peace, peaceful mutuality with the sun and with nature. So that's one thing that melanin can do for you. And I took a couple notes here stating that, uh, the difference between the black more melanated man and the less, the, the, the Caucasian man which has less melanin. It is said that all humans possess melanin but not to the degree that Africans, all, African people all over the world do. Black people have around 360 centers, melanin centers in their stomach region, as opposed to Caucasians, which only have 40. The African black human, which primarily has primarily 12 melanin centers in their brain, while the non-African brain only have two melanin centers. The key to effectiveness of melanin is the fact that it is primarily carbon-based and is the most effective in handling heat and ray of the sun uh, primary light giver of the planet, which I talked about earlier. The ancestors of not only the world but primarily black people had highly developed body parts and organs, especially a part of the human body called the pineal gland. This is where it gets important because the pineal glands were our melanin processes. This part of the body, along with the pituitary gland, allows individuals to sense things and visualize things in their environment that cannot be sensed through the ordinary five senses and which do not work nearly as much as it, as it did in the past because of a dumbed down society. I mean, things like uh, fluoride in our water, the poisons in our food, our organs of the human body, it can't work as strong as it usually does. And they know that, that's why they poison us, that's why they spray us with chemtrails, so we can't, you know what I'm saying, be as strong as we can. So even physically, not even spiritually, physically, we're not as strong as we can because of all the poisons that we take in our body. So it's important for you to stay healthy and pick your poisons. <laughs> uh, another note I took. Melanin means black amino and is a color pigment composed of hydrocarbon chain which has various amino, nitrogen-based compounds, compounds attached to it. It is carbon that gives melanin its blackness. Carbon is the organizing molecule that gives melanin its structure. It is carbon that gives melanin the ability to absorb energy and bend with other molecules while retaining stability. So, basically, these notes that I took is uh, basically pointing key things of how important it is to be have melanin or to even process melanin. Because I, as I was telling you, as a black male, I don't care if you're light skinned or whatever, you can be out in the sun and your melanin, just having the amount of melanin you have, it will allow a production in melanin just by being out in the sun, working out in the sun, playing out in the fun, having sun out in the fun, having sun out in the fun, the sun, <laughs> it will uh, 
pro had give a production called Melanogenesis, a production of melanin, which will make you darker and which will make you stronger. You know what I'm saying? It will make you more in tune with the universe. Our, our melanin is processed in our pineal gland, and through our pineal gland. It's a, a very, a, a pineal gland organ is a very powerful organ which allows us to do supernatural things. As uh, some of them were stated in the notes, but also um, this is what allows us to be more like um, te telepic, you know what I'm saying? And you can work on that through meditation and other things like that, uh, yoga, just getting your body back in tune with nature. But, um,. I really want young black males and young black females to know how they're important. And you having melanin is just putting you on a whole different level than some of these other people who don't have as much as melanin. It puts you more in tune with nature. It's uh, more power. And you are, we are the original people of this planet. You know what I'm saying? We are the originators. Most of these races, they came from us. We father these races. Most of these races, they still pray to our ancestors. They walk around knowing who we are, and we don't know who we are. We have to put this idiotic stuff behind us. We watch TV. We think it's cool to be light-skinned. Girls try to straighten their hair. This is beautiful. This, this hair right here is beautiful. Our skin is beautiful. It's powerful.